science fiction is becoming a reality. But Bruce Willis struggled to deflect this incoming asteroid. Will the real world have it any easier? At the Zvinogorod Observatory near Moscow, astronomers are opening up their telescopic eyes. The Institute keeps watch on cosmic bodies and studies known meteorites to understand their size and inner structure. And it's helping to track the path of asteroid Apophis. It may look small here, but some scientists say this boulder is the greatest threat to our planet. We need to determine how real the danger is, and that will only be clear in decades' time. The critical moment will be in 2029 when Apophis will fly past Earth so close that it will be visible to the naked eye. The consequence of this flyby will tell us whether it will come back again and collide with us in 2036. If Apophis passes through a particular point in space called a keyhole, the Earth's gravity may change its course for the worse. In ancient Egypt, Apophis was a spirit of evil and destruction. A snake-like demon determined to plunge the world into eternal darkness. A fitting name, then, for a menace that could potentially cause devastating global damage. NASA estimates the blast caused by Apophis would be a hundred thousand times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It would be more destructive than Siberia's Tunguska event of a hundred years ago. Thought to be caused by a small space rock explosion, this impact is the largest in Earth's recent history. It wreaked havoc on a vast area, wiping out 80 million trees. Ideas on how to deflect an asteroid range from blowing it up to sending a spacecraft to nudge it off its destructive path. We need to develop a planetary protection system. There's no point in discovering these objects if we don't protect ourselves from them. But we also need better observation techniques. And it's difficult to track objects from the ground. I think a space observation platform would be the best option. Russia's offered to launch a space probe to plant a radio transmitter on Apophis so its orbit can be more accurately tracked. This is a flying terrorist we need to keep tabs on. So this asteroid is hurtling towards us at a speed of 10 kilometers per second. The good news is it's going to miss us. It's only due to graze the Earth's atmosphere in the year 2029. But it's only then that scientists will know for sure whether it will return seven years later and hit us where it hurts. Leah Ferguson, RT, Moscow.